Hey guys, it's KJ48 and welcome back to Tips, Tricks, and Tutorials. And for this episode of Tips, Tricks, and Tutorials, we're going to be looking at some items in 7 Days to Die. Okay, for this version of Tips, Tricks, and Tutorials, we're going to go over tools and how they work. Uh, specifically, their condition and their damage and your stamina and how they all work together to determine how much... Uh, damage your weapon or tool is actually going to do. There is actually condition and damage for weapons but I'm not quite sure how they work at the moment and I've been told they're bugs so I'm going to ignore those for now. Now there's going to be a couple things we're going to be looking at with this fire axe here. We're going to be looking at the CND condition bottom left hand side. It's 280 of 500. We're going to be looking at the damage which is how much damage it's going to do to these trees and we're going to be looking at our stamina. Now, once our stamina is, if our stamina is above 75%, the damage is not affected at all. Once you get down, once you get your stamina down to 75%, that's when it starts being affected. So let's, uh, our stamina was a little low there, so let's, let's fill it up a little bit just so I can prove the point. Okay, so stamina is 100%, our damage is 100%. So here we go, we're going to start chopping down some trees here, and we're going to, we're going to work our stamina down a little bit. And once our stamina gets to 75%, let's just hit dirt. You can see the stamina is at 75% now, and the damage on the axe is starting to go down a little bit. Yes, 96%, 93%. I'm getting stamina back as I'm working. That's why it's jumping up and down. So you can see right there, stamina is getting close to 50%. Now we're getting into the 90s, 80s. Um, we're in the high 90s and the 80s on damage. And basically what that is, is it's doing less damage to these trees. So what we're going to do here is we're going to work our stamina all the way down. Uh, till it's zero and let's do that now okay and now I finally got my uh, my stamina down to zero and when your stamina is at zero your damage on your item is at 50% okay so there you go now this can all be uh, affected by the condition of the weapon uh, the weapon starts losing efficiency at 50% so what we're gonna do is you can see the condition we're gonna get it down to 250 uh, so it's at half 50% condition. Okay, right now we're at 251. Now, to, so this doesn't affect anything. We're going to up our stamina. Stamina stamina, and condition of item both affect the damage of the weapon. And I'm, I'm doing them separately. What I showed you before was only stamina. It had nothing to do with the condition of the weapon. And now I'm going to show you the condition of the weapon. And this has nothing to do with stamina. So right there, you're at 100% damage in 251 condition. That's almost half. And once you start getting below half you're going to start doing less and less damage. Right there, you can see I'm a 243 uh, condition, and our damage is at 99%. Okay? And your damage will continue going down as the condition goes down, and when you get below 75% stamina, that will also take a toll on your damage. And once your weapon gets down below, or gets down to one condition, you will be doing 75% of the damage. So let's recap. Uh, Stamina and tool condition uh, work together, and I'm looking at them independently in this video. Okay, Once your stamina gets down to 75%, your tool will start doing less damage to the stuff you're trying to uh, mine, like trees. Uh, so once you get down to 75% stamina, you want to start thinking about getting that stamina up a little bit. Once your stamina gets down to zero, your tool is, efficient, is officially half as effective as it was when you started. And the condition, uh, conditions of tools are all at 500. Once you get down to 250 condition, which is 50% of the condition of the item, it will start doing less and less damage. Once the condition gets down to one and it is about to break, your damage will be at 75%. So basically you can, you can save your metal strips until your weapon is at 50% condition. Then you want to start using them. Because anytime you're using a weapon at less than 50% condition, um, you're not doing yourself any favors. You're just, uh, you're working less efficiently. Alright guys, that's going to be it for this episode of Tips, Tricks, and Tutorials. I hope you found it somewhat interesting and entertaining. Till next time, take it easy.